discovery of the skeleton that we called mana on Motoriki Island in 2002 um, was a remarkable discovery because it was one of the first times that uh, a Lapita age skeleton had been discovered um, at a Lapita site in Fiji. We found many skeletons before um, at various uh, early sites but none in Fiji um, we were confident of being exactly Lapita in age. When we talk about Lapita we're talking about 550 to about 1100 BC. Um, and the skeleton that we excavated from Natambale on Motoriki um, was overlain by pottery um, in an undisturbed layer. It was overlain by pottery that dates from about uh, 600 or 700 BC. We can tell the age of the pottery by the decorative style, the decoration on the sides of the pottery. And then we dug down further and we found the skeleton and next to the skeleton we found uh, pieces of Lapita pottery dating from, um, as far as we can tell from the design, dating from about uh, 900 to perhaps 1100 BC. So dating from the very earliest period of Lapita history. And we were very, very excited, of course, when we uh, realized that we'd found a skeleton and uh, we went through all the proper channels, the, uh, all the proper protocols to get permission to uh, disinter this skeleton and take it back to Suva, which we did uh, in the end. And uh, we, we took it out piece by piece and uh, put it in carefully labeled plastic bags and took it back to Suva, um, where we laid it out and we cleaned it. And the one thing we realized was that we had a remarkably complete skull, that the jawbone, the, the cranium, um, these were uh, exceptionally well preserved compared to other Lapita skeletons that have been found in the Pacific, in, in uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, in Solomon Islands and Vanuatu, for example. So we realized that there was a, an exceptional opportunity um, to therefore uh, recreate the head and particularly the face of this individual. Um, and it was the first time then that we were able to uh, recreate the face of a person um, who had lived in Fiji during the very earliest times. <laughs> And that's what you're seeing today. That is the head of mana, the first time that anyone in the Pacific Islands, in, in the modern day history of the Pacific Islands, has been able to look upon the face of one of the island's first inhabitants. This uh, recreation and this discovery is not only significant for Fiji, but it's significant for the Pacific Islands as a whole. Because the same Lapita people who were the first to colonize the islands of Fiji were also the first to colonize the islands of Vanuatu, New Caledonia, Solomon Islands, uh, and parts probably of Papua New Guinea. They were also the first people to colonize Tonga and Samoan. So when we, Samoa, sorry. So when we look at the face of Mana, we're looking at the face of the first New Vanuatu, the first Solomon Islanders. We're looking at the face of the first Tongans and the first Samoans. We are also looking at the face of the ancestors of the inhabitants of all the other Pacific Islands. So when you go east from Tonga, we're looking at the ancestors of the first Nuaeans, the first Cook Islanders, the first people to live in French Polynesia, um, the first Hawaiians, the first New Zealanders, the first New Zealand Maori. Um, Mana is the, uh, is the ancestor of the New Zealand Maori. Um, that's, uh, that's what the genetic trail shows and, and so on. And we believe that Mana and her descendants uh, actually crossed the entire Pacific Ocean and actually reached Central America, Panama, as we know it today, um, before Europeans got there in the uh, 16th century. So Mana uh, and her people represent the undoubtedly the greatest navigators in the, the history of humanity, in the history of Homo sapiens. Um, these people were extraordinary navigators. They, they crossed huge ocean distances. Mana, um, the bones of Mana went to Japan where the head was reconstructed and where the skeleton was analyzed in detail. And then it was returned to Fiji and it was uh, put into a coffin and uh, 
myself and Rosalind Kumar took uh, the skeleton back to Natambale on Motoriki and with the cooperation of the, the people of uh, Uruimbao and the people of Motoriki Island in general, we buried Mana again at the place that, uh, where, where we had disinterred her body. Um, we buried her and uh, today the forest is growing back over the grave. Um, so that's really the story of Mana. Uh -huh.